Hi there. Today we are going to talk about Lesson 43. Now this is Saxon, Course 2, and what we're talking about today is actually three things. Converting decimals to fractions, converting fractions to decimals, converting percents to decimals. Okay, this really isn't that hard and you've been doing a lot of it already. Decimals to fractions is not all that difficult. You just have to pay attention to the place value, okay? So, write the digits after the decimal point as the numerator of the fraction. For the denominator, write the place value of the last digit. Oh, okay, let's take a look at this number, okay? We have 0 0.321 or 321. What's the place value? Well, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so it is thousands is the place value. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put a thousand on the denominator here because that's the place value of the last number in the decimal. And then I'll simply take the decimal and I'll put it without a decimal. Now, once you're writing it into the fraction and you put that in the denominator, you no longer need to put the decimal point in. So you're going to write 321 thousandths, which is exactly what you would say if you said this as not a fraction. You would say 321 thousandths, okay? You can always reduce a fraction like this after you've written it. You can always take it down. And I've got another example on this next page, okay? Let's say that your next example here is 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Well, if you were to say that, you'd say 75, uh, yes, that's right, hundredths, because this is tenths, this is hundredths. So you take this, which is hundredths, and you write that in the denominator, okay? And you take the numerator, and you put it over here on the top. You take the number out. Remember, no decimal. No decimal. Get rid of the decimal. Now this one is quick to see that you could reduce it to three-fourths. Okay. Now, next thing we want to do is take fractions to decimals. Okay, you know how to do this. Just take the numerator divided by the denominator. Okay? And the rule is divide the numerator, which of course is this number, the numerator. And you're going to divide it by the bottom number, which is the denominator. Okay? So here we go. We have five-eighths. 5 goes inside, 8 goes on the outside. You bring your decimal up immediately because you know 8 is not going to go into 5. Okay, so you put a 0 here, you subtract, you end up with 50. 8 goes into 50, 6 times 8 is 48, so you write in your 6, bring down your 0, okay, you subtract, you bring down a 2. You're going to need another zero, so you bring it down. Now you've got 28 goes into 20 two times, and that would be 16. You subtract, you get 4, bring down another zero. 8 goes into 40 five times. Put 40 here, subtract, and you got zero. We have just taken a fraction and turned it into a decimal. Numerator divided by the denominator. Really simple. Put that in your notes at any time you're asked to do that. You're going to know how to do it right away. It won't be hard at all. Okay, one last thing you want to talk about. You want to take a percent and turn it into a decimal. This is easy peasy. Okay, move the decimal place two places to the left. No matter where it is in the percent, you're just going to move it two places to the left. It's like you're dividing by 100. So, if it was 8%, you would write it as 8, and then you go 1, 2 to the left, add your 0, put in your decimal point, and you end up with this number. That's pretty easy. Same thing as 25%. You write 25, start here, two places to the left, put in your decimal point, you end up with 0 0.25. Next one is a little harder. It's got like one more step. You have six and one half percent. I would go ahead and write it as 6.5 percent. Then, find, remember where this decimal is though. 
If this is a half, that decimal is going to be right there. So, only it's not when you have a half, it's only when you have a decimal. But just so you kind of know that, okay? So, then you would write it as 65 or starting here, because that's where the decimal would be. You go two places to the left, put in your new decimal point, and this is the number you get. Easy stuff. Not hard at all. Thanks for listening to me. Talk to you later.